breadless pizza. Yum. A layer of pepperoni, mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni on top. Hello, 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 it's your girl DC and welcome to my channel. I am having a um, breadless pizza, pepperoni. I was starving. I didn't bring any lunch, but I had my lunch bag in, in the refrigerator and I had some pepperoni and I had some mozzarella cheese. So I layered the bottom with pepperoni, put a slice of mozzarella cheese and topped it off with some pepperoni and put it in the toaster oven. Hey. Lord, thank you for this food, for the nourishment of mind, body, and soul. Amen, 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 amen. So, my quick lunch tip, my lunch break. So, hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Mmm. -hmm. Good. This will hold me over till I get home. Mm, no. Ding, 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 ding. Have a bite. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's so good. Look, so pretty. You can see the layer. Let me show you the layer. I didn't want to take it off the foil. Messed it up. Just like pepperoni pizza without the bread in the sauce, but the pepperoni has its own grease and it has the Italian flavor. And today is Wednesday, spaghetti day. Print spaghetti day. Let's see what I'm gonna make for dinner. I might make some spaghetti. My salsa water, non, the non-cold salsa water. You know, I don't like cold stuff. Well, no cold water. I like cold lemonade. Salsa, I can do either way. Pepperoni pizza. pepperonis just by itself I'd have liked to have gotten it where I could have eaten it like that. That's how I need to press. To do that. I've saved so much money. 
being sheltered. Just read, because I eat out a lot. I'm not a lot, but <clears throat> more than the average person, I would say. But more than any of my friends. But I do cook. Y'all know I cook. But like I work, I've been bringing my lunch, saving money, coming up with creative dishes like this. I think kids will like this. If you can get it in a, like a sandwich, the like outside crispy where the meat is together. But I think if you had a grill and had a flat thing, press, you might can get that effect. I'm gonna have to try that one down. Mm -hmm. Last bite. Keep that there. Last bite. I don't want foil. Mm. Last bite. Yes, yes. Look at the cheese in the middle. You know you need a little bit of cheese. So good. Mm -mm. Mm. That was so good. Excuse me. I tried to burp louder. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, that's enough. Get back to what you're doing, please. Hello, hello, hello. This is your girl DC and welcome to my channel. How are you everyone? Happy hump day Wednesday. Um, ow, oh, my finger's stuck. <laughs> Freaking frack. Okay, I got it. All right, today um, I just got home from work and I am a little hungry. So I'm trying to figure out what do I want to eat because you know I still have my leftovers and it is Wednesday, Prince Spaghetti Day. So I think, I was thinking about it on the way home. I think I'm gonna make some spaghetti. And uh, I'm gonna make some ghetto spaghetti. That's what I'm gonna call it, ghetto spaghetti. Because I'm gonna take my leftovers because I think I should have a hamburger left in here. Let's see. Jay Wise and I have been eating off the meats that I cooked up. Yeah, I got a, I got a hamburger. So I think I'm gonna take that hamburger patty and grind it up and add some spices to it to make a little uh, spaghetti sauce and um, come up with some spaghetti. I might even add some chicken in there because I have some chicken breast as well. So, but I won't add the steak. Steak and spaghetti sauce, no. But the chicken and the hamburger just might be good. So, let's get to it. Okay guys, I am going to make some spaghetti. So first off, I'm going to take my leftover hamburger that I had from yesterday. Remember I did a um, nacho and I had chicken and hamburger. So I had half of that yesterday. So I'm gonna take the other half and just put it up. Yeah. 
And I am going to turn on my thing. This is ghetto spaghetti, y'all. Ghetto spaghetti. Yeah, you can make a meal out of anything. You just got to know how to be creative. Just got to know how to be creative. So I just but chopped this up. And I'll make enough. I'll have enough for for um for everybody. Oops, sorry. All right. Look at that. Look at that. All chopped. Now, what I need is um, I just need a little bit of a little bit of olive oil. Just roughly chop your onions. You know, they're going to cook down. And put those in the pan. gonna cook that down and I'm gonna add some more seasonings in there 
like so onion powder a little bit of onion powder a little bit of garlic powder is something that we're going to devote a whole lot of energy to. This um, was one of the worst in the nation. We have now the third highest number of deaths in the country from our population. Hold it down, hold it down. I'm a too short. Sure. And oregano and basil. A little bit of business. A little bit of oregano. All right, now I'm going to let this cook down. I'm waiting for my pot of water to boil to cook the noodles, and I'm ha I have wheat, whole wheat pasta. So I'm gonna let this cook for about 20 minutes and let all the flavors marinate, and I'll be right back. Yes, the ghetto spaghetti sauce is simmering. That looks good, don't it? It don't take much, don't take much. Got my pasta boiling. All right, it's almost time to plate to put together. All right, I'm cooling down my pasta. Why are you cooling it down? Because I decided I'm going to do a little twist on it. And um, I'm going to put it in the oven for a couple minutes. I'm going to bake it. We'll mix it together and have some baked spaghetti. Woo woo! All right, I have my ceramic dish. Washed it out already. Let me just see how much is going to fill up. Yeah, that's enough. That is enough. So I'm going to take the spaghetti, put it in my bowl, and. Sorry, I plated it, but um, I had a phone call talking to my mom long distance. But I put spaghetti, cheese, spaghetti, cheese, and now I'm about to put it in the oven. Oh, yes. That baked spaghetti looks good. See you at the table. Can you not run across my grass? Y'all so hard-headed. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my station, my channel. See, they got me all discombobulated. Oh, hello, everybody. I'm back with my big spaghetti. <sighs> I probably shouldn't even be eating out here because I get so distracted with these children using me as a park. I guess if I had ugly grass, they would, wouldn't play in it, right? Should take it as a compliment. <sighs> All right. Lord, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive my mind, body, and soul. And please give me patience. I'm asking for patience. Patience. <laughs> All right, guys. Hello, hello, hello. What's up? It's your girl, DC. Into that. 
I'm going to have a sip of my wine. Well, ooh, that's hot as hell, so I'm going to just bring y'all closer to me because I ain't burning myself. Look it, look it, look it. It's beautiful. I can't wait to dive in. See, that was an easy little quick meal from leftovers. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Cheese. Oh, yes. Get that cheese mixed up in this. ghetto spaghetti but I made it kind of fancy don't you think make it fancy oh yeah that's cheesy 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 And I use wheat pasta. So let's see how it is. Let's see how it is. All right. Woo! First bite. First bite. There you go. Look how cheesy it is. Let's try it. So I have hamburger in here and chicken. God. That is so good. Yeah, he just caught himself up and saw me sitting here. Get him, Bella. Oh my god. Sorry I'm not talking. This is so good. I like to eat it when it's hot. And this wheat pasta is not bad. Now I've had wheat pastas before and I haven't really liked them but you know what I think the difference is? I boiled it it was almost done and then I baked it 
So. It tastes, you can't even tell that it's wheat pasta. And then again, it's the thin spaghetti. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. Mm. Another bite? So great just to come home and relax. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. I don't know when the last time I had spaghetti. But I put, I had the stuffed shells, but not spaghetti, spaghetti. That's pretty good. Bella. You're doing something in here. You sound like you're trying to get out. And play. Make sure they play in your yard, not mine. Mm. One thing about braces. You most definitely gotta brush your teeth after every meal. So good.
Sorry I'm not talking, y'all. I just like relaxed downtime. This was great. This was great. Out of all that meat that I cooked, I got a few different meals out of it. From the barbecue, to the nachos yesterday. Um, I'm forgetful, so what? Whatever I had on Monday. Mm. Let's see what I can have tomorrow. the last bite. How you doing, girl? Good. Went to the mountain. You did? I made some spaghetti just some morning on the, on the oh, stove. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Miss JY just came from Stone Mountain getting her walk on. Um, I'm probably going to go um Saturday. The weather's turned nice enough where I can go. Cause you know I'm I get cold easy, so yeah. yeah. All right, guys, I am done with my baked ghetto spaghetti, and it was really off the chain. So that was a quick little easy um, recipe to do, you know. So I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful evening. Peace out.